each clean snail worries flatworm. There's a snail, it's a ram's horn snail, and just underneath it, that's the leech. It's not a blood-sucking leech, it's the sort of leech that lives on microscopic uh, creatures, animals, whatever you'd call them. Watching this, I'm trying to work out to what extent that snail is just moving around and to what extent it's reacting, if at all, to what the leech is doing. What do you think? The shadows are caused by duckweed on the top of the pond, on the surface. Oh, that is a water louse. It's actually a, not a baby, but a half-grown one that just ran by. I don't know what that is on the front of the shell. I've never actually seen one of those before. If you know what it is, let me know. That's a flatworm in the background. I don't know what's causing the snail to do that. I don't think it's anything to do with the leech. Because the leech doesn't seem to be like in the right position to make it react like that. Also, I've seen snails do that, but haven't had leeches on them. That duckweed's a right nuisance when you're trying to film. It gets stuck on the front of the camera. Let me just clean it off. There we go. Oop, frightened that one away. Now where's the leech? It's still there. Ah, there we go. You can just see the sucker pad at the bottom. And there it is. The bit that's moving around, that's the bit that would have the eyes on. And off it goes. What? Now watch this flatworm that's coming along. It's happily moving along and oop, the leech totally runs it over. Poor thing. 